Okay, guys, last one for today. It's the ab roller. This is a beast, especially if you do it from different positions and you control and the rest of it. So it's really, really good. If you are gonna use one of these guys, start on your knees. Don't just try and throw yourself into it because if you're not used to doing it, you will cause yourself some discomfort and some serious doms. <laughs> so build yourself up into it. Good way to start yourself. I would say start on your knees. Okay, decent firm grip. Start at your knees and just roll out, keeping your body nice and straight and coming down and then coming back in, okay? That way you're spreading the weight out and you'll be able to control it and you're keeping a nice control of your body rather than just trying to stand up straight away and then falling flat down and tearing your muscles. So that'd be smart. So we'll do it again. <clears throat> Usually do it on a nice firm floor. This is a bit too soft really, but it will do for today. Um, I prefer doing it on the hard surface. If you are going to be doing it, you know, use some padding. Um, just do wherever you're comfortable and just think about what you're doing. So come forward and out nice and far. Hold that tension and then back up. Okay, so same again. Straight out, nice and straight. And then back up. You can also do it as a progression. You can just lie nice and flat and then come back up. So you can either come out, hold it or come down, lie, and come back up. When you are getting good at it and you've got strong and everything is strong, your triceps are strong, your lats are strong, um, your wrists are strong, everything is strong and everyone can support it, then you can move on to doing standing. Standing, it puts a hell of a lot of strain on your core, hell of a lot of stretch on, um, strain on your abs and on your back. So move on to that after you've done a lot of work on your knees so you get used to it. If you are used to it, start standing, keep working it till you start hitting failure, then go onto your knees and then you can just push a bit further. So showing a bit, going from standing. Nice and flat. Straight out, come down, push, and back up. And the breathe. If I'm looking down, I'm just keeping my back nice and straight. I'm not pushing any pressure on my neck. Back up. Come forward, and then you can also do press-ups on it. You now you can just hold yourself there. Get any core working if you want. Come back up. Press up. Forwards, back up. Down. So that just gives you an example. Really, really good bit of kit. <clears throat> um, again, it's, it's only as hard as you make it. Obviously be progressive when you're using it. Don't just try and throw yourself in the deep end and give yourself any injuries. When you are rolling forwards, be careful where you're looking. If you are looking down, you don't want something collapse and hurt your face. You know, either keep your head pointing forwards, looking forwards, just don't put any strain on your neck and just be smart with what you're doing. Um, I hope that helps. I like this. It's a really, really good bit of kit, especially when I'm doing my uh, ab training. <clears throat> so that's something to bear in mind. I hope that helps. So covered a few different things this morning, making sure I've got to get juice in me. Um, I hope that helps your training, gives you a few different ideas. And uh, yeah, take it from there. So any questions, any ideas, anything you want me to talk about, What's the meaning of life? God knows. <laughs> um, yeah, just give us a shout. Peace out.